In today's video, talking about this matchup in the National League East between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets and the road team, the Braves coming in as moderate favorites here on the money line at minus 145. I like a lot of the moves that Atlanta made going towards the trade deadline. They were able to add some pieces that are going to bolster their chances at making a run towards the playoff as they also try to win the NL East Divisional Crown, but also they avoided having to trade away any of their top prospects. So Good signs there from the Atlanta Braves and a big thumbs up to their new GM, Alex Anthopoulos, who's taking a more methodical approach with this team, learning what their farm system has been ranked as one of the top farm systems in baseball in recent years. And the growth that we've seen out of Atlanta in 2018, they're ahead of schedule. They're bringing in these top rated prospects, but also they have a core of veterans that's been able to usher these guys in. And those are veterans like Nick Markakis, Freddie Freeman, among others. So the Atlanta Braves getting things back on track here in their prior series at home against the Marlins, picking up a couple of wins by a final of 5-3 to three and 11-6. to six. Yesterday's game was postponed, so that's a pseudo day of rest there for the Braves as they now come into New York for this evening matchup with the Mets. And the Atlanta Braves, in terms of their record, they're at 57-47 and 47 overall, which puts them almost about neck and neck with the Philadelphia Phillies atop the NLE standings. Two young up-and-coming teams that appear to be a year ahead of schedule in their development process. So the Braves, in terms of their numbers, ninth in the majors in runs scored. That's a number that has been receding a bit for the Braves over the past uh, month or so of action. And then in terms of their pitching numbers, 12th in total team ERA. So both better than league average. And as a result, this team has been able to get up to 10 games above 500 with those uh, respectable numbers. But then in terms of their pitching staff today, the Atlanta Braves is going to be sending out what has been one of their top arms this year, starting pitcher, 26-year-old righty, Mike Fultonevich, who's continuing to try to figure things out and put things together. He has all the tools to be a dominant ace-level pitcher, but his command has been his issue throughout his career and his development. He's been getting that back into a better situation, certainly in 2018 compared to prior years, but still something he's working on going in to the future. But right now he's sitting on a 3.04 ERA, 133 strikeouts, and just a 1.19 whip. But Fulton Evich, he's been taking a step back recently. He's had four outings in a row where he's at least made it five innings, but he has given up his share of earned runs. Going to be trying to get back on track against what's a more manageable New York offensive lineup in what can be more of a pitcher-friendly ballpark, certainly, out there in New York. So it'll be interesting to see what Mike is able to produce here against the Mets. So then you have the New York Mets, very dysfunctional, another disappointing campaign in 2018. The Mets thought maybe if they were able to keep guys healthy, they could push for an outside chance at, uh, you know, making maybe a wild card berth this year or even uh, competing for Washington atop the NLEs. But that just simply hasn't been the case this team. They're at 44 and 61 overall, which puts them 17 games below 500. And New York, in terms of their numbers, their batting has been really terrible. 28th in the majors in run scored. And then pitching wise, 21st in total team ERA, and a guy that has not been putting up great numbers, veteran 35-year-old lefty Jason Vargas. He's made 10 starts, sitting on a very ugly 8.36 ERA with a 1.79 whip in his last outing. Not able to go five innings yet again. He went four and a third, giving up three hits, three earned runs, three walks, three strikeouts in that losing effort against the Pittsburgh Pirates, and that now marks four starts in a row where the Mets have gone on to lose, where Vargas has started. So on the opposing side with Mike fulton if he's looking to get back on track with a victory, he has a great shot today going against what has been one of the weakest offensive teams in baseball. And then also on New York side, putting out one of the weakest starting pitchers that they could today with Vargas. So with that all being the case and the fact that the Atlanta Braves only come in as moderate favorites on the money line at minus 145, I feel like the safer play is going to be siding with the road team, taking the Atlanta Braves as the better bet. If you agree, give the video a thumbs up. Disagree, give it a thumbs down. Check out our Hall of Fame pick video play over on our YouTube channel. Subscribe for more, and we hope to see you guys back here for future videos.